Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios and in this video I wanted to quickly go over the various kinds of update methods that we have specifically for owners and non-owners. Uh, if you have used the system previously in older versions or any other networking system, you would usually have to uh, break it up to have a bunch of things like if is owner do this, if not do something else. So what we wanted to do was alleviate that with a couple of helper functions. So uh, I'm basically going to show how you could do that really quickly. I'm going to create a script, call it uh, demo move, and we'll see how to set this up. All right, so basically first we're going to be using... Oh, I don't even... Whoa. All right, so we'll be using beardedmanstudios.network, and wow, this needs to stop popping up. Okay, so we're going to be using beardedmanstudios.network, and we're going to be using a networked mono behavior. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do protected, override, void. And then if you look through here, you'll notice that there is a uh, owner update. It's down here. Owner update. And the code inside of this function is only going to be called on owners. And uh, non-owners is going to call something else. So we say protected override void non owner update and there's some corresponding fixed update and non owner fixed updates as well so we just write our code in here if input up oh, input dot get key down and we use key code dot let's say space And I'm going to use the same exact thing over here. What we'll do is if you do own it, you'll move the, we'll move the object up. So we'll do transform.position plus equals a vector 3.up. And if you do not own it, we're going to say debug, uh, debug, debug.log. Uh, you do not own this object. So, um, Basically, when we press space and we're owner, it moves up. And if we press space and we're not an owner, it's going to debug log this. So let's uh, let's check it out inside of Unity. I'm just going to set up this scene real quickly. So I'm going to create, uh, well, that's not the right place. I'm going to go and create a uh, sphere. And I'm going to save this sphere here. And I'm going to attach the demo move to it, which just has all of the uh, network transportation stuff on it which uh, we don't need to worry about in this case. So now we have our prefab. So what I want to do is I actually just want to keep this in the scene. I didn't mean to delete. And so now we're going to have it so that if I press spacebar, it moves up on who owns it, and uh, it just logs out that log when uh, we don't. So I'm actually going to make the editor the client this time so we can see the debug log easily. So I'm going to go back to the menu. Do I want to save this? Yes, I want to save it. OK. And I'm just going to set up the name for the scene I'm going to load real quick. Demo. All right, I'm going to build and check it out. All right, so we're built and ready to go. I'm going to host here. And over here, I'm going to join. So on this one, I'm going to press spacebar, and you'll see you do not own this object. And over here, I'll press spacebar, and you'll see it moves up. So that's basically it. We just have those two methods. Uh, and all we have to do is override them, and then they become available for those segmentations. Uh, just for a recap, what you would normally have to do in this case would be something like this. You do protected, override, void, update, and then you would say if input dot get key down key code dot space uh, if is owner we would do this logic here else we would do this logic here now 
uh, this looks fine for now, but once we start having, you know, hundreds of these and we have is owner checks all over the place, it becomes ridiculous inside these updates. So uh, rather than doing this, we can segment out the updates into just these. And of course, like I said, there's also an owner fixed update and a non-owner fixed update. And those are uh, the same thing as fixed update. They get called when fixed update would get called, but only on whoever owns it. So if you have any questions, please let us know. And thanks for watching.